Hi everyone, it's Tara here. Today I wanted to talk to you about serums. I often get asked, what, what is a serum? What do they do? How do I use it? So I thought it would be easier to just do a quick video to just give you a little bit more information about why serums are a really essential part of your skincare routine. So a serum is basically any liquid formulation that contains a specified concentration of active ingredients to treat a specific skincare concern. So you might use a serum because you're worried about excessive pigmentation, or you might use a serum because you're worried about the visible signs of aging, dryness, fine lines, wrinkles, etc. Or you might use a serum because you're just worried about the overall quality of your skin. So serums tend to contain um, a more concentrated amount of active ingredients, which is why they are usually more expensive than your moisturizers or sunscreens or any other lotions and potions you might use. Serums aren't moisturizers or sunscreens. They are a separate um, step in your skincare routine. So it's really important to remember that. So how would you use a serum? I would always say typically use a serum after you've cleansed your skin. So your skin is clean. There's no impurities on the surface of the skin that might impair the absorption of a serum. And before you use your moisturiser. So moisturisers tend to create a little bit of a barrier against the skin and the outside world. So you don't want the serum to be fighting through that barrier. You want to put your serum on your skin before your moisturisation step. So what's in a serum? Well, serums can contain... A variety of active ingredients depending on what you want to treat so for example you could have vitamin c for its antioxidant properties which is really good at protecting the skin and defending it from pollution sun damage etc you could have retinol for cell renewal and cell turnover which is great for targeting fine lines and wrinkles and just overall quality of the skin you could even have ingredients like kojic acid for brightening the skin so where you've got areas of excessive pigmentation kojic acid will be a great serum ingredient how do they work it's really important to remember that not all serums are created equally. There's a vast array of serums out there in a the market and it can be really confusing and in some cases bewildering if you don't really know what you're looking for. This is where it's really important to have a consultation with a skin expert like moi and my colleagues at The Skin Collaborative because we know our serums, we know our active ingredients and we are best placed to guide you through this maze of all the different products out there. Serums, um, the the formulation of a serum, the way it's packaged, the bottle that it sits in, the concentration of active ingredients, even the, the delivery system of those active ingredients all have an effect on how well and effective a serum can be on your skin. For example, retinol serums should always have a method of releasing the active ingredient of retinol slowly into the skin. Otherwise, the results can be quite harsh and irritable for the skin and you can end up with lots of redness and inflammation. Vitamin C is a highly unstable active ingredient, so it needs to be packaged in a bottle that prevents it from being oxidised by sunlight or daylight. So these are things that you need to look out for in your serums, not just the ingredients, but the way that it's delivered, the way it's packaged, the way it's been formulated. It's really important to remember that active ingredients in serums in the right quantities can be very, very effective and you need to use them carefully. So, for example, with something like retinol, you need to make sure that you're going low and slow at the beginning. So you start off with a low dose and you start off with a low frequency and you gradually amp it up as your skin gets used to the active ingredient. So if you've got any questions about serums or how you can incorporate them into your skincare routine, don't hesitate to drop me a message or any of my colleagues at the Skin Collaborative. We're more than happy to answer your questions. Hope you have a lovely day and take care. Bye for now.